All right, guys, welcome back. So in this one, we will go ahead and create our registration endpoint and make sure we can register users. All right, so before we start, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I highly recommend you subscribe just so you can keep in, in the loop as we post new videos. So now in a views.py, we need to create our endpoint. So we are going to be using class-based views. So right here, I'm going to create a class. So it's going to be called registration register view. So this one is actually going to be inheriting from generic API view. So let me bring in generics here. So from REST framework, import generics. So now we can use generics, generics dot. This one is going to be generic API view. And since users will be registering, they're going to be making a post request. So we need to handle a post request, so def post so of course text itself and then the request so in here now we need to get like the the data that the user has sent so we can set up a variable this one is going to be holding user re request dot data all right so once we have this data then we need to send it to our serializer class and we haven't so i'm going to first create the serializer class so i'm going to create a, fi a file called serializers.py so in here, we need to set up a serializer class. So I'm going to write class register serializer. So this is going to be inheriting from serializers. So let me bring them in here. So from REST framework, import serializers. So this is going to inherit from serializers.model serializer. So now in here, we can define our serializer field so one of them is going to be the password because yeah we want to users to have password so password this one will be serializers chart field so now we can define our validation so our so here we can enforce like max length this should be like 68 and then we can define our mean length of course so mean underscore length so now this one can be like six say so that the passwords can be only can be at least six characters all right so once we have that then when it comes to passwords we really don't want to be sending them to the to the front end so you can define a write only so write underscore only say so this one to true say so that they are not send them for reading they are not they are not sent for reading back to the user and we can only write them so once we define that then we need to define our class meta so class meta so in here now we can define our model so model will be our user so let's bring it in so from dot models import user all right so now we can define our fields so fields here, this will be a list. This is gonna contain the things we want to expose. So one is will be the email, the next one will be the username, and the next one will be the password. All right, so since we said that the password is gonna be right only, it means that whenever we send back responses regarding to this model, we'll be sending the username and email, and not the password. All right, so once we have that, now we need to define a validate method. So I'm gonna call it def validate. So in here, now we can validate the like, user information from here. So here in our view, once we get the data, then we need to send it to the serializer. So since we've created a serializer, even if we are not done, we can bring it in. So from dot serializers, import register serializer. So here they set up a serializer class, serializer underscore class. This is gonna be our register serializer. So once we have that, now we can send this data to it. So we can do that by doing serializer. So we can do self serializer class, and then we pass the data. So you can do data equals user here. So this now should be able to send this data to the to our serializer, and now we can go ahead and validate it. Before we do that, for it to, for us to make sure it validates it, we need to run serializer. That is valid. 
and then here we can put raise exception is equals to true so when it's some things are not valid it should tell us so once we have that now we can run serializer let save okay so this is going to be running a, a function called a method called validate and this is going to be running a, a, a method called create so let's go ahead and finish them out so right here let's check for the email so here we can do email equals atras put get now i want to get the email and then i will put the fallback value just so it doesn't crash so do the same thing for the username all right so this one will be getting username of course so once we have these two now we can do some validations let's say we want to make the username have on the alphanumeric characters so we can do like if not username dot is alnum and then we want to raise an error if it's not alphanumeric but this should be is alnum like that no underscores all right so once we have this now we want to raise an error so we can do raise serializers dot validation error so here now we can say something like the username should only contain alphanumeric characters so once we have, once we have that now we can return return our attributes right so once now we do that now we need to define a create so a create actually gets called when we say when we say use serializer.save so let's define it create so now here what we need to do is basically create a user so here we, we want to do return user with objects then we call create user and now we give it our our data so our data will actually be in validated data so now we can pass it in here all right so make sure you pass this otherwise it's going to be sending only the username all right so once we have this now let's go back to our view and complete it up so after the save once the user is created it's going to be returning us the user so we can have something like user data so this is going to be from serializer to data okay so once we have the data now we can tell the user the account was created so for us to do that we can return a response so return not return return response we're gonna input that one now response of course will be taking the data which now will be user data and then let me actually first import it so from rest framework with response import response okay so let me also bring in status so from rest framework import actually i can import it here all right so now we'll be sending back the user data and then we want to send them a status of 201 so status equals status dot http 201 created all right so this should do sending back the response with the user and then this should be handling the errors in the validate so let's take a look at the validate again so basically what we are doing is we are checking only the the username but for now let's first do that so once we have defined our view we need to register it in our URL. So I'm gonna create a URL with Qualifier. So in here we define a URLs button. And now I'm gonna import path from the U Django URLs. So from Django.urls import path. So yeah, now we can define our path, but I want to first bring in our view. So from dot views imports, we call it register view. All right, so now we can define a path. So we want to see whenever a user is trying to access slash register, and then we want to give them our view. So we can now do register view. Then we want to call as view. 
and then we need to give it a name so name equals register all right so once we have this actually we don't need this slash we actually need it at the end okay so once we have this now we need to hook this one up with our main application routing so in the main application in urls.py right here i'm going to import include so down here i'm going to now have all the the requests that go to slash authentic auth yeah that go to slash auth and then i want all of them to be routed to the to our authentication app so here we can use include and now we can say we want all of them to go to authentication but euros all right so once we have done this now let's save and actually test out to see what we have all right so I'm going to go back to my terminal and then run the application again run server okay so we need to actually run migration since we set up a model so python manage.py want to say make migrations so that creates our user user migration and then we need to migrate so run migrate okay so that runs the migration so now let's run back the server Okay, so this brings back the server so now i'm going to try accessing it and now you can see that the index route has actually changed but you have now some other route so this one is slash auth so i'm going to bring up my api testing client so i'm going to bring up postman and of course we'll set up the documentation that we can use but that will be a bit later so let me bring up postman so here i'm going to create another collection this one is going to be called like income expenses api and we'll work from there all right so so now i can add a request so this one is going to be register save so now this now that you have a url let me actually get it so it's going to be the main application slash auth slash register all right so since we said we have to make a post request, let's try it. And then you see we get what we need to. Yeah, so so right now, when we we make a request to the API, you can see that we get our error. So the first one is saying email, email is required, username, username is required. Okay, so let's first go ahead and supply this because you can see they are actually preventing us from creating an account. So in row, go to JSON, and then here, now we can start sending in this. All right, so let me actually clear them out. And then we want to test out the validation, see if they actually work fine. So I'm not going to change anything, but I'm going to make another another request. It's actually validating the email, since we use the email field. All right, so if I use the correct email, let's say I use this one, gmail.com. Try sending. You can see that now we get the error we defined about the about the username. So I'm actually going to be showing you how to fix this issue. Actually, we can do that one real quick. So you can see the key is non field errors. So for us to be able to change this, we can actually define another key in the REST framework. So right here in settings.py. So here. Now we need to define all our all our configurations for the REST framework. So I'm gonna set up another key. So REST framework. And this one is gonna be a dictionary. So the first thing we do to set up the uh, the key to use for this one, we are going to need to set up none underscore field. errors key and then this one is going to be error all right so this should be actually a string so if we come back server is off let's check oh the server stopped let's rerun it again you can see that now it changes to error which actually makes sense anyways 
so once we are done with that now let's try to send a, re a request with varied user credentials so i'm going to make this one username then let me supply a password so let's say supply a password that's less than six characters so send that you can see that we get the, the that error but for us to be able to now register of course we need a varied password let's try that all right so you can see that we get we actually get an error object instance so if we look at our create method you can see that we create but then if we look at our models.py you can see that create user actually we are not resigning the user so here let's add a return so return user all right so let's try again so you can see that these ones are taken but just use like one here one here so send and yeah so you can see now, now that now we get a 201 created and then we can see our user being given back to us so this will do it for this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel so you can keep in the loop as we post new videos i'll see you in the next one where we'll be sending a an account verification